Assalamualaikum Good morning world So today I want to talk about some issue that is very very serious And I want to all of you to think it twice or think it thrice And try to solve it together The serious issue that I just mentioned just now Is about a group of terrorists who attack a few country in the world Such as Kota Marawi, Filipina, Kampung Melayu, Jakarta, Belgium France and other place and it was very very serious I think as we can see when the France is under attack by the terrorists we can see how the world treat that country they are very 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 care about France and it same goes to Belgium when Belgium was under attack by the terrorists people also do the same thing where they, they say pray for Belgium pray for Belgium pray for Jakarta pray for Filipina Actually, my point is, aku nak korang bezakan macam mana dunia ataupun warga dunia ini membezakan layanan mereka antara negara-negara yang menjadi tumpuan seperti Perancis, Belgium dan sebagainya dengan negara-negara Islam yang sedang diserang. What? Belgium under attack? Oh, they are very picky of them. I need to give this all of my food to them. Oh no. Hello, ha. Apa dia? Perancis kena serang. Perancis. Woi. Benzema okey tak Benzema? Benzema. Ah, ha, satgi aku sampai. Ah, ha, hang tunggu sana ha. Ha. And that is how people will react after they got the news about the a few country who is under attack. But when they heard about some of Islamic country when the Islamic country was under attack, I think there will be Al Jihad, Al Jihad, Al Jihad, Sabiduna. Please, please, help for Syria, help for Syria. Syria need food, Syria need food. Help. Take this Mungkin ada yang masih tak faham dengan Apa yang aku cuba sampaikan Sebenarnya aku cuba nak sampaikan yang Kenapa kita perlu membezakan antara Negara-negara lain Dengan negara-negara Islam apa yang mereka diserang Negara Palestin yang telah diserang Berpuluh-puluh tahun itu Sampai sekarang tidak mendapat perhatian dunia Yang selayaknya Dan orang tak nak memperjuangkan tentang Ideologi-ideologi daripada Palestin ini Dan mereka membiarkan anak-anak Palestin itu Diserang oleh kuat-kuat Zionis dan apabila negara-negara lain pula yang diserang seperti negara Perancis, Belgium atau mungkin London Mereka mula mendapat perhatian hanya kerana nama mereka yang gah di dunia Sejujurnya saya rasa sangat-sangat sedih bila ada orang yang cuba untuk membezakan negara-negara Islam dengan negara-negara bukan Islam Adakah nyawa orang Islam ini adalah nyawa orang-orang yang tak berharga dan tak ada nilai bagi mereka? I really don't know what is the factor about this issue Maybe of Some place like France, they have Eiffel Tower and at Palestine, they only have, I don't know. But for sure, it's not unfair for us to defer that country just because of their iconic buildings. It's very, very unfair, you know. Dan korang pula jangan salah faham. Bukan aku tak kasih korang untuk prihatin terhadap isu-isu di Perancis, Belgium dan sebagainya. Tapi aku cuba nak korang semua untuk berlaku adil dengan layanan-layanan terhadap negara-negara Islam juga. Keep balance it. Insya Allah kita akan hidup aman damai. Hello, my name is Hazman and I'm with Palestine. Assalamualaikum, my name is Izudin and I'm with Palestine. Safe. For Palestine. Hi, my name is Muhammad and please pray for London. Thank you. Hi, I am Wayne Rooney. I'm from Manchester and please pray for Syria. Pray for Syria.